how to go from no contact with the girl all the way up to getting closer and closer and closer all the way until it seems like the girl is gonna try to kiss you. Watch this video in full. I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of different examples, some subtleties, some advanced concepts. I'm really throwing it all at you in this video. So the first thing, the very first thing, biggest mistake I see guys making is just their positioning when they're opening and when they're running the interaction. Typically guys are staying at a very safe distance from the girl. Easiest step that you could do to just take that nice little jump is going to be the positioning and the distance that you're at with the girl. The next step that you could be doing, once we're in a, a decent range of the woman, I think is a light touch to break the touch barrier. Something like on the shoulder, or it could be actually like while I'm talking, our arms actually like touch, or it could be like a playful push away, or it could be like a cute hug if there was something going on, or it could be like a high five if something was going on too. All of this stuff could be going on in the very, very beginning of the interaction. You don't need to open back here, talk, work my way in, get a little closer, then put hand here. Like it could happen very quick. There's times where the open is literally like this. Side note, when I'm touching the shoulder or any part of the escalation, you never want to be looking at and acknowledging the fact that you're touching the girl. I'm not like, hey, wow, I'm touching your shoulder right now. And by the way, guys, I don't want you to think you need to do every little step. Each one of these steps can be intensified or they could be very, very subtle, right? I could be getting in super close to the girl and the escalation will be further than here. Like if I got in very close and I was touching and she was okay with me at this distance, I'm, I'm probably more like at this part of the escalation just because of how, how intense it's getting. A couple other easy moves you could be doing on the dance floor, I think, well, dancing. And the same concept with the escalation applies to dancing. So you can actually start dancing at a distance where you're right next to the girl, or you could start dancing at a slightly more physical position, right? Like that could be with the hands, right? If you're, if you're dancing, it could be with the hands, or it could also even be grinding, right? So if the girl's behind me and we're, we're starting to dance, you could see we're getting kind of physical and that's, yeah. that's another move that's gonna probably bring it to this halfway point of where we're getting with the escalation. Guys have a tendency of like not talking at all when they're grinding with the girl. I've noticed with my clients in my mentorship program. That's I've, so true. Right, they'll just like dance with the girl thinking like, oh yeah, like it's going well, blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, But there's no connection being built up. There's no flirtatiousness. And it's yeah. just gonna be a matter of time before the girl gets like, bored okay. and is like wanders off to do her own thing. Bye. So <laughs> even if you're dancing with the girl, you wanna take that as an opportunity to keep vibing and talking and flirting a little bit with the girl. So while we're dancing, I could be talking into her ear, okay? And you can already see it, not that it's super sexual, but like we're, we're getting closer. From there, a couple other moves I think that are, make things more sexual is like my, the hand positioning, right? So I could actually put my hands right around her waist. I could start it here. I could even get it to here. And then if things are getting very sexual, like let's say she's responding very positively to me here, one thing I can do is actually either kiss her cheek while we were talking, I end up kissing her cheek. If she's responding positively, my hands, I'm not gonna go all the way down, but my hands could go to like her pelvis, right? And if sometimes a girl will even put her hands on my hands like this, and then I could even grab closer and pull her in tighter here. And now you could even see the shoulders like exposed. So if I kissed her here, vibes going well, I could even kiss her here, kiss her here, and like, we haven't even technically kissed, but this girl is getting very, very comfortable yeah. and accustomed to my touch and, and probably getting aroused too. Some other moves you could even do from the same position is like moving her hair out of the way. But if she's really enjoying this and I'm kissing here, another thing I could even do is play with her hair a little bit. My hand will go up in here and I'll, I'll suddenly be grabbing the back of her neck a little bit. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but. I'll be grabbing the back of her neck a little bit. Based on how intense these are going with the kissing, you could even end up kissing the girl from that position. You could have her cheek rubbing against yours too while you're talking in her ear and you're kissing and you're doing all those moves. That could literally bring this guy's like almost to here depending on how intense it's getting. So it's never like any one move is gonna bring it to a certain level. It's all about the delivery, the vibe, the intensity between you guys and the yeah. tension that's building up. One thing you could be doing, like if we're here, like you could end up spinning the girl. Yeah, if you're if you're like dancing a long time with her like on you, you should definitely turn her around. But also by by you could either spin her or literally you just 
turn her around. Well, yeah, so you could spin her that way, and now we're here. Okay, we didn't even rehearse that, that was, but that was, pretty, <laughs> that was pretty smooth though. From this position now, there's a bunch of other moves we could also be doing. As you can see, the girl, she just naturally has her, her hand on my arm, which is definitely a positive. I, in that case, I would probably be grabbing here too. Um, but another thing I, I like to do is my leg, this thigh, is going to go in between her legs. Okay, because if it's just like square, it can work. But I notice I like this position just because it puts a little bit of pressure innocently on her pelvis. Um, so I like to dance from this position. And as you can see from here, you, you're going to use the volume of the club, the positioning. I could be, and this is why it's important to keep talking to the girl because now if we're talking, I can be talking here and you can see it's getting very intimate, right? While I talk here, I like to get in close enough so that our cheeks touch, okay? I'm talking in close enough so that our cheeks touch. That way, when I, if I pull back a little bit, and when I do pull back, I don't go to here. I pull back as if we just kissed. Like, imagine we just kissed and we broke away. We're right here. Same thing as if I'm talking in her ear, and then I go here. Okay? Cause, and then I'll just I'll, I'll hold it right here to see what her eye contact is. At. Is she holding eye contact deep in my eyes, or is she, like, uncomfortable? Because based on that, I'm going to calibrate a little bit. Okay? So you could... You can talk into her ear, put this here, and then this hand will go up her back, and that's gonna start going around her neck. I could keep her nice and secure, bodies are pressed up against each other, and then I could even be like massaging, massaging the neck if I wanted to, or playing with the hair, depending on how the vibe is, okay? So I'm always calibrating with that part. So you could do that. The hands could even come to the shoulders. I feel like massaging this area. Kind of depends on what's going on, but I could be doing all of these little movements, right? So we're dancing here, one other thing I'll do is I'll put her hands behind me. I have her hands and, and they're behind me. And the reason I do that is because I can hold her here. I can still dance with her. But now I kind of, she's forced to be like right up on me. Subtle move that I'll do though is like when I pull her in, my face is facing this way. Because if I'm right here and I'm pulling her in, she's, she's going to be like, whoa, that's like a kiss. But if yeah. anytime I'm getting closer to the girl, Talking to you exactly. You do it. Yeah, so I'm always very subtle. As I'm getting in closer, my head is never right here. It's the same concept when I'm getting in closer with my positioning. I don't want to be getting close like this because that gets intense. But I could get in close like this where my body is not super mm -hmm. squared into her mm -hmm. and it's not that threatening to her position. Do you agree? Like this isn't that intense, but this oh, yeah. is intense. Yeah. Right? So I could get in close. Right? And so that's like a nice little subtle concept you want to keep in the back of your mind anytime you're getting in closer to a girl. You can get in closer with your head turned this way. Sometimes I'll even tilt my head a little bit because it's, it's just slightly more man to woman. Because something you do before you kiss a girl is like both of your heads actually tilt a little bit. So when I'm talking, if I tilt my head just this tiniest bit, it's just like these little subtleties that unconsciously trigger in the girl's mind like kissing and positioning and it naturally puts these thoughts in the girl's head a little bit. If her hands are here and we were going to dance, I might actually grab her wrists and put them around my arms. Hand movements, this is a nice little comforting move too. But as you can see, all of these moves are just getting me closer and closer and closer to her. To getting the girl more comfortable to kiss me. Versus me not doing any of these moves and just talking here. And then we're hanging out and we're at the bar and I'm like, how do I kiss this girl now? Those are a bunch of easy moves that you could be doing to get the girl more accustomed to your touch, more comfortable being at a very close distance, and that's how you would baby step your way to a point where you're pretty much like right next to the girl, to getting the girl more comfortable to kiss me. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of how to go from zero all the way to hero, all the way from no contact to kissing the girl. Hope that was educational. And by the way, if you're interested in working with me personally, I have a mentorship program, okay? You could be working with me in direct communication and I'll show you the step-by-step -step process from wherever you're at all the way to getting that abundant dating life to become more socially confident and get more women, more dates, the whole thing. It's all going down inside the mentorship program. So if you're interested in doing that, click the link below this video, fill out the application for an opportunity Do to... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> click the link below and then we'll be reaching out to you to discuss further details. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, Coach Kyle, Doha, signing out. Peace out, guys.